All right, it's been a while. Shoulders, four in the morning. Haven't done this in a while. As you can see, I'm tired as fuck. I'm far as asleep, but you know what? I really don't give a shit. So, isolation before compound movements. So, every this routine is every exercise before we do a compound movement, it will be with an isolation. We're gonna start off with um, cable side laterals, and then from there, we're gonna move into some dumbbell side laterals. We're gonna go four sets. 10 to 15 reps. Remember, just trying to get blood into the deltoids. Into your delts. Just try to warm them up. Get that blood in there. To get ready for the... For the real set. Ten. Now, if you notice, I like to twist them in a little bit. Two. I like to twist them in a little bit. I get that little extra stretch there. Feels really good. Also, I don't take 10 pound jumps on this. I go 20. I start off with 20. I'm going to go 20, 25, 30, and 35, and then I move on. All right, so four sets are done. Shoulders are warmed up. Going to go now into my compound movement, which is going to be dumbbell side laterals. Four sets. It's going to be four sets. And I'm trying to get uh, 10 to 12 reps. All right, like I said before, it's going to be only four sets, 10 to 12 reps. If I get eight, I'll take it. But the goal is to get between 8 to 12 reps. So here we go. Knock these out. All right. Four sets of dead on the side laterals. I got 12, 12, 10, 6. Not going to lie. Last set was a little heavy. Plus, I'm dragging a little ass today. But that's so be it. So next, cable front laterals. Palms up. Good. Grab a bar. Here. You know, palms up. Lean forward slightly. Move back up a little bit. Lean forward slightly. Yeah. I think I got 13. Maybe I miscounted. Anyways, four sets. 10 to 12 reps. All right, next exercise, hammer bar, front laterals. So you haven't seen the hammer bar? It's this one. Let me strap up in here. All right, this is a hammer bar. So I'm just gonna go straight. I'm just gonna do some front lateral. Four sets, 10 to 12. All right, next exercise is gonna be machine rear laterals. Most people usually use it like as a T or like this. I actually like doing it like this, so that way it gets my scapula to come out more and I get that rear delt a lot better. Just a preference I like, started doing it. So try it out, see how it goes for you. And what I also do is I sit on the seat and I lean into it. So more like this instead of upright. Felt good. Four sets, 10 to 12 reps. All right, just finished that up. So now I'm going to go with, I should, last time I did this routine, I did it with some dumbbell bent over laterals. If you don't know what that is, you kind of bend over. 
turn around and twist. But I also like doing dumbbell upright rows, and I think that hits really the rear delt, and you get some of that side delt also. I want to get my shoulders rounder and a little bit wider and bigger. So I'm going to go with some dumbbell upright rows after the machine rear lateral. So, all right, here we go. Dumbbell upright rows. Gonna hang. Remember, elbows go up and hit the dumbbells. Work on that form. Two more. Four sets, 10 to 12. All right, next exercise, Smith front shoulder press. No isolation in front of this one. The reason for that is everything's so overloaded now. Everything's so full of blood. You're just trying to get as much power as you can off of this specific exercise. So, four sets, 10 and 12 reps. As you can see, I only have quarters on there because you think, oh, it's gonna be fucking weak. Nah, when you take it off the when you take it off and sitting in your in your hands and you're pressing the bar, shit's gonna fucking feel heavy because you've just taxed and overloaded your delts. So here we go. Also, one thing I've also been doing, I've I changed it up is I brought in my hands a little bit in, thumbs distance from the line. Give it more of a dumbbell feel, in a sense. And I tend to get a little bit more reps out. All right, four sets. All right, so just finished the four sets of the Smith press. So now I'm going back to an isolation. I'm gonna go to a one arm side lateral and you'll see why I'm doing this. So we're gonna go for a 3D look now. But we need this to give us a 3D look. So, side lateral. I'm gonna go 10, 10 to 12 on this side and I'll go 10 to 12 on the other side. Also, you can't see it. there's a peg up here. Use that as a marker. Mark yourself that way you're in the same position every time. Okay, four sets, 10 to 12. <clears throat> All right, last exercise for shoulders, for the delts. Uh, one arm leaning side lateral, but behind the back to give you that 3D look. It does hit the rear delts a lot, but it also hits the anterior delt also. And what I do from this, I go side to side to side to side. I don't rest, just keep it up, just to get that burn in there, just to finish it off. So kind of slightly leaning behind and out like that. Face it up. And remember, use a light weight to get the form down. It's not about throwing up some heavy weight. This is more working on aesthetics. All right, four sets, 10 to 12. All right, so your shoulders should be on fire. Anyways, that's a that's the isolation and the compound routine. We're gonna finish off with four sets of Smith Shrugs, or you can use dumbbells, whatever you like. Uh, I'm gonna wrap this up here.
Yeah, don't do that. Don't hit your head. All right, here we go. <coughs> Four sets of 12, that finishes the routine. I'll give all the breakdown on everything. Remember, send me a message, DM me, text me, whatever you like, um, if you have any questions on this routine. But remember, you're gonna isolate, and then you're gonna do the compound movement. I've discovered that it really helps you get everything in there, and your strength actually goes up. I could be different from you, but anyways, give it a try if you're looking for a new routine. Shoulders, ISO and compound.